Hey guys, looks like you're ready, just like I am, to dive into the differences between Odoo Community Edition and Odoo Enterprise Edition. You'll notice I recorded this in pieces, but I feel the flow is good and that it gives you a good overview of Community Edition and what you can expect from it. So, let's dive in. First things first, I'm going to go to Odoo for Projects. I'm going to do On the Rise. It's the recommended one right now. Go to Add to Cart. Set it for hosting in New York and one year. So I went through the whole checkout and sign up process and mere minutes later, I have this. I now have my own Odoo community instance, which is great because you guys are really here to see what the difference is between community and enterprise. So tonight, while my wife and I are watching a show, I'm going to check the differences between community and enterprise as I see them. And I'll show you guys what those are tomorrow. All right, I'm back. Let's go over the differences in community. So the first two key differences that you should know about community is that it's free you don't pay for any additional users you're only going to pay for hosting which if you install it on your own personal computer is really nothing except for the electricity to keep it on obviously free comes with some pretty major caveats the biggest one in my mind being that there isn't a very strong upgrade path for community edition now if you've been through an upgrade with odoo enterprise you'll know it's not a light thing for me to say that this is actually more difficult than upgrading with odoo enterprise I don't really know how much more difficult it is because I've never been through that process with community, but I'm going to check out the open source upgrade script that people can use and see just how nasty this is. That being said, community edition may still work for you and your company for various reasons. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing I noticed when I came into community is that it feels different, right? There is no actual home menu that we see where we see all the apps. It's actually just a list on the left hand side that pops up when we click this right here. That's not really a deal breaker, but it does take away the functionality where you can just start typing and it will bring up whatever menus match what you're typing. And that's kind of sad to lose. But a pattern you'll see throughout this video is that this hole that Odoo intentionally created can actually be filled in with a third party app. So if you want that menu back, you can get it back. Beyond that, it still feels pretty similar. I mean, it is still Odoo. Like if we go into the sales app, this is gonna look very much like the sales app that you'd see inside of Enterprise. The top bar looks very similar too. There's nothing too crazy here in the chatter. All the same stuff that you'd expect in Enterprise. Now let's hop into the apps, which are really the core of what you experience in Odoo. If some of those are missing that you need, that may be a deal breaker for you. But let's be clear, because you are forced to be self-hosted with community, you have the potential to install any of the apps that are inside of the Odoo third-party app store. That's not to say those apps are guaranteed to work for you. I mean, they're third-party, so they're not always perfect, but it does open up a ton of functionality that you could have inside of community. But let's go ahead and look at the official apps. So anything that's not natively available inside of community is marked with an upgrade button inside of Odoo Community. That upgrade button basically lets us know, hey, if you upgrade to Enterprise, you can have this. Now I have the list of the apps that are excluded from community in a spreadsheet that's in the description below, but I wanna go over the ones that I think are most critical for most companies. So if you're a fan of my videos or you at least tolerate them, you know that I use Studio a fair amount. So it is pretty sad to see that Studio is one of those things that's missing inside of community. There is actually a third party Studio app for Odoo community and I've never used it, but I wanna look into it to see how promising it is. It also should be noted that Studio not being in Community Edition doesn't necessarily limit what you can do. Studio just makes what you do easier. It doesn't actually add any functionality. It just makes it so it's more drag and drop. So to be perfectly clear, you can add views, you can add menu items, you can add server actions, scheduled actions, automations, even webhooks. You don't need Studio for that. It just makes it a little bit easier. Now, sadly, the Community Edition also lacks Odoo accounting. Now wait, before you sign off and decide Community is definitely not for you, there are other options. So I mentioned third-party apps earlier, and really, this hole that's created by Odoo intentionally can actually be filled in by several different apps, one of them from OCA themselves. I haven't tested this out myself yet, but I'm going to, and looking at it, we may be just fine with accounting. 
we don't necessarily need to have enterprise for it. Another one that made me pretty sad at first is that you can't add or edit spreadsheets, something that I use fairly often for my clients. But once again, the community came to the rescue and it looks like there is an OCA spreadsheet module that allows you to have this functionality again inside a community. Those are the big ones in my mind. Again, you may want to look at the list that I provided in the description below to make sure that whatever you need is in Community Edition if you're considering it. So those are really the major differences between Community Edition and Enterprise Edition. The big overarching point to all of this is that Odoo is really not going to help you with Community Edition. They're gonna take away certain apps, apps that you may be able to get somewhere else. They're not gonna help you with your upgrade and they're not gonna help you with your hosting but you may not need that as a company. The easier route is still definitely doing something with enterprise, whether it's Odoo Online, Odoo SH, or hosted some other way. But as with any implementation, easy is relative, and sometimes people rely too heavily on Odoo when they shouldn't. I've run into many people that got the success packs or have relied on the recommendations in the partner program and have ended up with implementations that have never come to fruition. Anyway, lots of cautionary tales to be had on either side of the fence there, both enterprise and community, but I want you to be well informed. So now you know the differences between enterprise and community. Next video, I'm going to talk about how you can make community feel a little bit more like enterprise or really fill in those holes that Odoo intentionally created. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below or feel free to grab some time on my calendar, which is linked in the description. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.